back to my channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And this morning is kind of going to just be like a slow morning and I'm going to make my bed. If you didn't see, I redid my room yesterday. It should be the video right below this one. And so I'm just going to take you guys with making my room up and then I think we're going to go get some Starbucks. And I did get ready already. I've been awake for a little bit, but my husband was sleeping. So now we're going to actually start the productive day. quick little room tour. This is from Target. This is from Target My Holiday. Target, that's from Home Goods. It's my husband's stuff. That's from Home Goods. This is from Target. Target. The lights are from Target too. Pretty much everything. I just love Target so much. And then I don't my mom got me that when I was like super young, so I don't know where that's from. That's from Michaels and then Target in the dollar section. This is from Target too, and then this is like an Alexa type thing. I be, you, I play PlayStation if you don't know, and then this is all of my medical supplies. If you don't know, I'm chronically ill, so I post a bunch about that too. So later today, you'll see me do my infusions and flush my lines and stuff like that. I have another one too, um, but. Yeah, so now we're gonna go get some Starbucks. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. I saw someone, another influencer, that got a shaken espresso with oat milk and caramel cold foam so I think I'm gonna try that because I normally don't go to Starbucks but I don't want to drive all the way down to Dutch Brothers so I asked for the girl at Starbucks to do a uh, salted cream cold foam on top and she said there is, but it does, definitely doesn't taste like there is. Um, but it's a grande shaken espresso with salted sweet cream cold foam, oat milk, and caramel drizzle. If you guys wanted to try it, I think it tastes really good. I'm gonna set up my infusion now, um, so if you wanna watch that, or you can just skip ahead a little bit, but there won't be anything graphic.
trash inside of here because as you can see like there's those little itty bitty caps and then the alcohol and I just don't want it getting everywhere. So it just kind of makes it easier to use the trash that you already have. That's why I only open it up a little bit and then I just stuff everything inside. So my pump just finished priming my infusion. So now I'm going to put this in my bag. If you don't know, this is a Mighty Well infusion bag. I have a 10% off code, which is Jordan10. I'll link them down below and the bag. The decals do not come from a bag. I got this through a friend that makes them and she sent me the decals. I had some more down here, but they kept coming off and my son kept taking them off. So um, yeah, and then inside, this is what it looks like. You hang your infusion, you do your pump. I have an extra flush here in my line. And then you got some extra little pouches. If you guys want a, like a what's in my bag like tour, I can totally do that for you. And then like it has an extra pouch right here. And then I just have like some gloves. And then this is like a laptop pocket right here. I keep like a file and I put my iPad in there. Um, and then I have like some other stuff in here too. generation 9 I wanted to get the newest one but I did payment plans on it and the payment plans for the newest one were just way too pricey for a girl on disability so I ended up getting the 9 but the only difference is is that it still has the home button with the thumbprint and the face ID I'm not really using that to film I'm using my phone I have a 13 Pro so, I mean, the camera quality on this is really good. So, and eventually I will upgrade to a camera. But I mainly got that so he could use little coloring apps on it. And then I could edit. And then he can be on my phone while I edit my videos and upload them. So, that's why I got that. But now, um, I'm not going to film me cleaning my kitchen. <laughs> but I need to go clean my kitchen. And then eventually I'm going to put him down for a nap. And then I'm going to go on the iPad. And I'm going to videos and I might take a nap. I am not too sure what my plans are for the day. Um, like I said, like I'm a stay-at-home mom too, so I kind of just vlog my days and hang out. So if you guys have any like video suggestions too that you guys want to see, please definitely like let me know because I really want to make YouTube, like I was saying, I want to make YouTube something that I can use as like an outlet and it would be something really fun for me and I really like vlogging and showing my days and uploading. It gives me something to do um, and I don't have a really lot to do besides just like basic household stuff. Um, I do do TikTok, if you don't know, here's my TikTok and then um, I just kind of got bored with TikTok. It was just kind of like the same stuff every day. It was just like whose dog's better if you don't know. I have a service dog. He is right here being a complete weirdo. Um, if you don't know, he's mobility and medical alert. He is one of the cutest puppers ever. And then my son's right here with some chapstick. I really need to redo this side of my room and then that's just trash from yesterday from the bedding and I need to go throw away. 
I really need to go clean my kitchen, but I really don't want to. I absolutely hate cleaning my kitchen, but at the same time, it's so satisfying. So I think I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me cleaning my kitchen, and I won't go, because I normally go full, full deep every single time I clean my kitchen, but I just don't have a lot of spoons today. <laughs> and I want to use the spoons I have to be able to vlog and document my day. If you don't know what spoon theory is, I'll link it down below. It's a chronic illness thing where people who have mental health that need to space out their energy throughout the day. Um, but I'm gonna go clean my kitchen now and then maybe work on the bathroom. I really just want to like kind of redo <laughs> my entire house slowly but surely um if you have any tips this is kind of like my room right now it's kind of like the only place i can have my bed and then i have this is a dresser that we all share and then this is in, like we also use this as like a dresser in our tv stand also before you come at me about my playstation this playstation is super old and it overheats so we have to have the the cover off so it'll be able to breathe won't overheat but it looks like Charlie spilled some food on my bed so I'm gonna clean that up right now it is 11:09 a.m. so we're gonna go clean and see how long it'll take me I have a gastroparesis, so my mom suggested to me that I try something called Whole30 to improve more of my gut health and try to have, you know, less tummy problems. Um, so I'm gonna try this. It's not, I'm not doing it as like a diet or to lose weight, more of a lifestyle change. So shout out to my mom if you're watching this, she probably doesn't watch my videos, but um, I'm, really, I'm gonna read this book and then I'm gonna start November 1st. So I'll probably do like a full 30, how I thought about it, did it help my gastroparesis, etc. So if you guys wanna know a little bit more about that, I will update on my Instagram. Um, but I just thought I'd kind of like share and let you guys know. And now we're gonna go back to cleaning my kitchen. downright out of spoons. I'm so exhausted and tired. A lot of people ask me because I get IV hydration if I still like experience pot symptoms and stuff like that and oh yes I do all of the time. My Apple Watch is dead right now. I can feel my heart just beating a million miles a minute and chowder normally doesn't work at home I don't really force him to work at home um, unless like he alerts to it and then but I mainly just expect him to work which chatter you can come see he um, anyways I don't force him to do look at his little smile is it a good scratch yeah. I don't really force him to work at home uh, just because this is his time to just be a dog and relax but we're gonna hang out and just watch some movies. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was the Mighty Well self care case. Um, my discount code will also work. I'll put it back up on the screen for you guys but I've been using this now for I would say like a week or two and my opinion first on it was that I thought it was a little too small and I didn't, wouldn't really use it all that often. Um, this retails for $39.95, I believe, on their website. I can link it down below, too. Um, and I have been using the pad. I really like it. You do have to buy this separately. And then there's some, like, other mesh um, pockets in here. But I really do like it. It holds my saline flushes right here. And then alcohol swabs. 
My heparin fits really good right here. These are five mLs and then right here I just have some allergy meds because I have mast cell activation or MCAS um, and then ibuprofen because migraines and then I just have some extra caps and then my pads like I don't forget. This case is more just like on the go like if I need anything or like a travel. I wish that I could like turn this like low-key like into a pouch or like a bag because if I'm like no I'm gonna need this like it kind of be a little more convenient and it has like a little cell phone pocket um and then if you want to hang this inside your bag because there's d-rings in there little like command hooks you can hang it up on this little thing right here but I think this case is worth it if you are really interested in finding something similar to this so now I'm gonna do some editing and stuff on my iPad and I'll just do like a fast word motion of it upload it a little bit more um it wasn't that long to upload it was just something kind of like short and sweet um but it is right currently 12 o'clock i'm going to put charlie down for a nap and then i'm going to take a nap myself so i'm going to end the vlog bye guys thank you so much for watching